Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning here in the Philippines, so we are going to do a chase video today. A little different than what I had promised because I did not get the other Shuko Unimog in, in time, so we are going back to our roots and taking a look at a bunch of Mopar green machines. This is just about every Mopar green machine that I have. Granted, they're already all unboxed, and we've seen them throughout the entire year last year. Uh, some of them you haven't seen probably for over a year. So this will kind of be a treat for all of us. I get to go back and reminisce on these cars and you guys get a second look at them and they're all together in one video. So that's kind of cool. Uh, some of these are extremely rare. Some of them are really low numbers when they used to number greeny separate from regular production. Some of these are single digit production numbers. Um, some of them are as rare as like only 50 units built, maybe 70 units on some of the Black Bandit, Toys R Us, uh, Green Machines. So some of these are awfully rare. Uh, so what better place to hold this event at than Mr. Norm's Grand Spalding Dodge? I know I use that as my background for all my Mopar videos, but hey, it is the capital of Mopar. If you're in the Mopar Classics, then this was the Mopar headquarters, so I had to do it here. Uh, we have classic Mopar and modern Mopar. Um, not many trucks or SUVs. We have one truck, and he is over here on the side road hauling our Sam Posey original 71 TA Challenger and the Tribute 2008 Challenger. So, let's go ahead and start with him and take a look at these guys first. So, I'll back him up a little bit, and we'll take the Tribute Challenger off first. This is is from i forget what it's called like road racer series or something like that that green light had a few years back i think about 2013 or something like this but this is the posey tribute challenger like a 2010 2011 srt uh challenger so really cool they did it in the sublime green with the number 77 on the door and then You have a nice detailed front end. And then the Sam Posey signature above the 77 on the hood. Pretty cool. Green wheels, green base. Lower number, 31, less than 50, first 50, so pretty good. Um, then, after him, we have the original Posey Challenger. Now, this came from a two-car box set has some Tampa flaws and the stripes and stuff, but hey, still nice to have, rare one to have, and it doesn't even have a number on it. Green wheels, green base. As I said, it came from a two-car box set, uh, and it was like a road racer set also. Um, it had, I, I forget the guy's name, but it was a 65 or 67 Mustang Coupe that came in the box set. I never seen one with both variants and green machine. Usually only one was a green machine, uh, either the Challenger or the Mustang, because I have the regular Mustang that came in my set, and then I got the greeny Challenger. So they did a pretty good job on this one. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't have your traditional TA Challenger side stripes and stuff. And it, even these original ones had like an RT in the stripe, the original, uh, not the original ones, but the original one, I should say, single, um, because it was actually a body in white car, so it wasn't really a factory TA Challenger. It was what was given to Posey's team, and then they built on it. Uh, the reason it has the black vinyl top is because it was an acid dip body in white, and the roof was actually really poorly uh, done, and I think somebody actually leaned on it and dented the roof, so they had to put a vinyl roof on it. So that's why the car is like that. That's why it has the RT stripe and not the TA stripes and stuff. Um, so it kind of, they put this center stripe on it, the RT stripe, to kind of break it up a little bit. They said it kind of separated it and kind of took away from the sublime a little bit. But uh, that's a little history on the original Posey Challenger. So there you go. Uh, then, the truck that's hauling them 
is a hitch and toe gooseneck and this one the only greeny feature it had is green wheels as you can see even the spare is green and then your trailer wheels are green pretty cool a uh, nice setup i love these goosenecks from green light all metal frame uh plastic floor though but it's just a one layer floor or two layer floor i should say the bottom part's all metal uh so really nicely done by green light like these and then the gooseneck is adjustable as you can see uh, so they do work on just about anything if it's slammed if it's lifted it will set level for the most part so then the truck that it came with is a 2500 ram i think 2017 something like that and it kind of just has green centered wheels no green base nothing like that just that green center and he does have a regular hitch so you could use a regular ball hitch style trailer or your gooseneck so pretty cool setup with both hitch things you could use either one so Moving along, we've got, this one is one of my most subtle greenies. This is a 68 Dodge Charger RT from the Barry Jackson set. The One of the newer ones, well not brand new, but probably from 2017, 2018. It just has green center caps and a green base. And this is one of the newer ones that I think was labeled, or not labeled, but numbered in the... It could have been numbered separately because this is only number 112. So not really a high number at all. So this may have been numbered separately uh, rather than being in the regular production line. So I thought it was. Now the one next to it, on the other hand, this is a super rare car. This is actually one of, I think, only 2,500 built Black Bandit if it was a regular variant. But this is the greeny, as you can see, the green lip on the tire, or on the wheel, I should say. The green base, this is number 29 of probably, if you go by the 2%, there should only be 50 of these in existence. But I heard that like 2,500 or so that there were maybe at maybe 70 or 80 of them made and that's just kind of hearsay i'm still going by the two percent rule and saying that it's probably 50 of them and this is number 29 of 50 and as i said this is really subtle too kind of like the charger maybe even a little more so than the charger because the green lip is kind of hard to see in some lighting so this is a 70 gtx so really cool car the one next to it is a 68 GTX, and this is also another low, low number. Uh, it's double digit, but still like right at the first double digits. This is a 68 GTX. Once again, kind of a subtle one, just a green lip wheel with the black center. Uh, then green base, but number 11. So this is an old one, and this actually came with a green uh, tool also, the green... Uh, gas pump that's in the Mr. Norm's showroom came with this car. This is one of the GL muscles that used to come with the shop accessories. So pretty nice piece. Uh, low number. Looks like the newer Pep Boys release car, actually. Then next is another GL muscle. This one I love because it's a green body with just regular Mopar rallies. Nothing too flashy or overdone could pass as just a regular emerald green 70 Roadrunner. Looks awesome. 440 six pack car. You can see the six pack air cleaner. Did a nice job on it. Sometimes they put the numbers on the bottom of the hood. But this one is numbered in the regular lineup. As you can see, 5297. I think they probably made like 10,000 of these. Uh, they did not number the greenies separately. So this is numbered in your regular lineup. That's a newer release one, at least from the past five or six years, I would say. Next one is a hobby exclusive BF Goodwrench release. This should have been pink or Moulin Rouge or Panther pink. But since it's one of the newer greenies, it is Zamac Raw, and it has the green wheels, regular cast base. This one, I think, is in the uh, its own separate numbers, also 112. Some of the, like, Miho exclusives, hobby exclusives, even if they're newer, they still had the greenies numbered separately. Not always, but sometimes. 
As you can see, it has that specific TA exhaust too, which is cool that they added that nice detail. The TA hood, everything, TA stripe. That's what I was telling you about the Sam Posey. If it was originally a TA, it should have had that stripe on it that the raw one has, but it doesn't. So that's why that was not one of the production TAs. So pretty cool. And this guy, you could see the oval six pack air cleaner. So nicely done. Uh, then you have a 71 Cuda, and this is a double greenie. And this is uh, numbered on individually in green machines, number 102. And green wheels, green body, really dig this car. Uh, would have preferred just green body, but hey, I can deal with the green wheels on this one. Uh, and like the subtly done ones with just the green lips and things like that, that's a nice, tasteful touch. Um, and it actually looks good on the black somewhat. The red one kind of reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> so anyways, um, this is one of my favorite greenies that I have, this 71 Cuda. Beautiful car, Hemi car, shaker hood, beautiful piece love it so then we have a newer challenger from the gl muscle lineup also this is a 2009 rt nicely done with the chrome five spokes green body once again love these green bodies this is a newer style one because it is done or made to be in the regular production as you can see 3194 very high number and we know that they only make a few hundred greenies even in the newer stuff when they have like maybe 10,000 or 15,000, even if they go by like a 5% thing nowadays, like 10,000 would be 500. And then you would have um, like maybe 750 for 15,000. I don't think they're doing over 15,000. I could be wrong, but I don't think they are. Even Auto World, as exclusive as they used to be, they kind of up their production numbers too. So they're up to like 12,000, 14,000 on our square bodies and Ford trucks and Jeeps nowadays. So the production numbers are getting up there on Auto World. So now your Ultra Reds are not as rare either. And I don't even know if they still go by the 2% thing. So... Moving along with our Mopar Greenies. This is a Barrett Jackson release six pack 69 Roadrunner. Love this car. Wish I had the stock one with just black steel rims. That's how this car was all black, flat black, glass hood, the way they should have been. And then it had your black steel rims with the red line tires. And this looks awesome. Uh, this one I don't mind with the green wheels at all. Now this is a number, another very low production number. This is number five. Actually, I haven't showed you the lowest one yet. I forgot we were going around from the other side. So, so far this is our lowest number, but I have one that's one number lower. I have a number four, but this is a number five greenie. Very nice car. The only thing that's lacking on the detail here should have been a liftoff hood for your six-pack car. But, hey, I'm not going to complain too much. This is a beautiful car. Love this one. This is probably my second favorite Mopar Greenie outside of the Cuda. Um, it's actually probably tied with this 67 Cornet RT right next to it. Because this thing just looks really good. The stock one is in like a... Burgundy, this is from the 75th anniversary set for Dodge, I believe, or Mopar, something like that. But uh, it is from their anniversary set, and all the cars were done in a maroon, and they all look really good. Most of them had these Magnum 500 wheels, too, but this one looked killer in the green with the white top and white interior, too. Definitely dig this. And yeah, I remember on some of them I was pointing out, I think on my convertible, uh, RT. They did not do much detail on the grill. These had the same grill, well, not the same grill, but they kind of looked like the 6667 Charger grill minus the head, uh, hideaway headlights. They had those uh, vertical gills and it should have had something there, but they kind of lacked on that. But they did put the RT badge there and painted the headlights white and then they got the Dodge on the front of the hood. So they did do some nice detail work on it. But they overlooked to paint the lines on the grill. 
But besides that, very, very nice car. Same thing with the back panel. It should have been kind of like something that mimics the grill. There you go. See, that's exactly how the grill should have looked. They did it on the back, but they did not do it on the grill. And this is just not an error. It is actually all of them were done that way. And as you can see on the plate, that's the series that I was talking about. That uh, it's the Mopar Anniversary uh, so all of them were in that maroon color. So cool set of cars, even in regular. Next one is another ultra rare Black Bandit. This is your Black Bandit Dodge Daytona. And this is another one that's probably around like maybe 50 to 80 production, no more than 80. Uh, so, well, actually it would be 80. This is number 67. So definitely not just 50. Um, but I don't think there's more than 80 of these in existence. Very cool looking in the black with the matte black tail stripe, black interior. And then this has like a Magnum style wheel with the green centers, chrome lip. Looks really good like this. And you can see the B reversed backwards B and then forward B for Black Bandit. So really cool car. Happy to have scored this one. Your little Pentastar there. Very cool. Uh, so another rare one. And then here's another one like the Cuda. This is the Supernatural 70 Charger. This is a double greenie. I call them when they have more than one green machine feature, which most of the time they do, except some of the hitch and toes. A lot of the hitch and toes actually only have like gold centered wheels or uh, I mean not gold, but uh, green centered wheels. And they only have like one feature and that's it. Not on all of them, but a lot of the regular ones. Three piece sets sometimes have more greeny features than just the truck and trailer. Usually the truck and trailer is just the wheels I've noticed. Um, but this one, anyways, is in the regular production line, too. As you see, 3685, high number, so definitely not separate numbered greenies. Uh, nice 70, though, and 440 six-pack car. Um, very cool piece. I have the black regular one also. And this is another one that I wish they would have just kept the chrome wheels on. And for some reason, the rear wheels on mine does not roll. It doesn't look like they're rubbing anywhere. It just does not roll at all. The front ones roll fine, but the back ones do not roll. Love the emerald green paint on these. It looks really good on this charger. Looks really good on anything, actually. So those are the greenies that I hunt now, are the green-bodied muscle cars. Unless I find something that is really a, a still, then I can't turn it down, like the green-bodied 240Z that we looked at on Monday. That was one that I couldn't pass up. It was basically SRP, suggested retail price. It was seven bucks about. It's 350 pesos and like another 50 pesos shipped to my door. So I think I paid like eight bucks or eight fifty, something like that shipped to my door. So price of the car and shipping included. You can't beat it. So next is my lowest number greenie. This is the CUDA from the Entertainment Series. Before they had the Hollywood Series, they had the Entertainment Series, where they would have magazine cars and such. Uh, and this was one of them from Hot Rod Magazine Cover Car. This is actually the Hot Rod or Car Craft Test Car, the Hemi CUDA that they gave them the test, or the Road and Track Test Car, something like that. Uh, but anyways, had... The color-coordinated front bumper, I don't know if they hit Endura bumpers on Kudas or not, but this is the color-matched bumper for the front. Usually they do front and rear, but this one just has the front. But this is a green wheel, green base, and as you see, number four. This is the lowest production number car I have. Uh, very nice piece, the bright red. The color match shaker scoop is cool. Very beautiful car. Did have a tampo flaw, but really it ain't that noticeable at all. You never could notice it in the package uh, because the driver's side faces out. So very nice piece. And my lowest numbered greenie. Now, 
The next one is one that I don't even think has a number on it at all. Yeah, it does. Actually, there it is. 2888. So this is one that's in the regular production run. Looks really cool. The orange with the green wheels reminds me of Halloween. So really cool piece for Halloween. Same thing with this one. I guess I'll go ahead and show this one too. Uh, this is your 2017 Charger RT. Orange with the green wheels, green base, just like this guy. So this is like old and new Halloween specials, it looks like. So really cool set to have for like Halloween video. Can't remember if I put this guy in or not. I do think I put him in one of my Halloween videos. But yeah, nice piece, regular production run. Now, outside of the Orange 71 Challenger RT from Green Light that usually sits here on the corner a lot all the time, I only have one other 71 from Green Light and it is this guy here. This is your County Roads, I think, Series 4. Uh, but this is another lower number, 28, green wheels, green base. And this is your 71 RT, but it's lacking the fender louvers. Or, I well, quarter louvers. Rear quarter louvers, which is usually common on the RTs. But it does have the split grille, and it does have your 71 tail lights. But does not have the quarter gills, quarter louvers, whatever you would like to call them. But nice car and lower number. So nice one to have in the collection. And then the next ones are 2010 Challenger RTs. And there was actually a third one from this release. There's a red one with, I can't remember if it's black stripes or white stripes. But then there's the white one with red stripes and the black one with red stripes. And I have the black regular, but I never could get the white regular one here and never could find the greeny or the regular of the red one here. So that's gonna be something I hunt when I get back to the States maybe. This is number 30. These actually came with shop tools and the Challenger came with a workbench, usually Firestone workbench. And Really nice car, looks good with the green five spokes and the white and red, it looks like Christmas. I actually think this was in one of our Christmas videos in 2020. But as I said, number 30, not sure how many of these there are. There's probably a couple hundred of each one. Uh, the black one is a higher number, but still under 100. It is number 81. And as you can see, identical car, just you have the albino one and the ebony one. So very, very nice cars. The red one would look really good sitting next to those two. Now we have 25 regular traditional Mopars and one adopted Mopar for a total of 26 pieces, 27 if you want to include the Green Machine trailer, but it's not a Mopar. This is what I call the adopted Mopar. They adopted or uh, acquired AMC back in I think 86 or 87, something like that. So now all the AMCs, AMXs are all welcome at the Mopar Nationals and such. So they're the adopted kids. So anyways, this is Mark Donahue's Sunoco number six Javelin, the iconic Javelin, the most iconic AMC, I think, because of him driving it for Penske. Um, very cool in the red, white, and blue livery. Now, this is from Green Light's 10th anniversary, and it's kind of done like the Johnny Lightning uh, duster that we did the wheel swap on the other day. As you can see, it says Green Light and your 10th anniversary. So, this is from 2016, I believe. Um... Let me see if there's a... Uh, it just gives the date that the car was casted. But anyways, yeah, I think uh, Green Light was launched in 2006. So this would have been from 2016. Their 10th anniversary set was pretty cool. Opening hood, nice chromed engine and such. Green base, number 48. So this is numbered separately. Another under 50 number. Uh, then, uh, knocked somebody down back there. Have a couple guys back there working on a blowing and... I don't know if it's injected or just supercharged engine. Yeah, you can see them back there working on it, as would have been common in, uh, or not in, well, I guess it would have been in or at, either one works here. For uh, Mr. Norm, 
Now, nah, whatever. He's not going to stand up for us. So, anyways, let's pull back out here and go over here and take a look. These are all my new chargers. All six of them. Well, we looked at the orange one already. Here is his black counterpart. This is the Hellcat version. This is just your regular RT. Uh, as you can see, some slight differences here, like in the hoods and such. So... Let me try to zoom out a little bit more, get back to our regular focal point. So there we go. So slight differences. And this one has a different kind of spoiler than the RT, kind of like a ducktail. This one kind of has more of a raised spoiler. So anyways, a little bit different will too on the Hellcat versus the regular RT. And this one is not numbered at all. The black, yeah, it is. I'm sorry. I never noticed that before, but it is. 2276. The black bandits used to be noted as like one of the lowest production series from Green Light, but now even on the package, it doesn't say how many were made. They used to, I think prior to like say 2014 on back on the package, it used to say how many were made, like one of 2,500, one of 4,500. They just don't do that anymore. So we have no idea what the production numbers are. And I don't even think it states on their website anymore. So... Anyways, yeah, even over here at the toy store, it's all Green Machine Mopars. It kind of ran out of room around the dealership here. So we have the NYPD 2006 Charger. And what's cool, NYPD, NYPD Blue is what they called it. What's really cool is the Green Machine Wheels actually look blue on this one. It was just a way that they mixed the green paint for the wheels. It kind of looks blue on that whole series of Hot Pursuit cars. Uh, this is number 82, so it was numbered separate, separate and um, kind of a cool car to have. Always cool to have some New York Police Department or Fire Department vehicles in your collection. Now, this is another super low production car. This is only like one of 80. I think they made 4,000 or 4,500 regular ones. This is not even numbered. This is a TRU exclusive Black Bandit, just like the 70 GTX we looked at at the beginning of this episode. So this is another very rare greenie. Then we have Detroit Police. I heard this charger, this is like a 2000... 16 something like that uh but anyways i heard just a regular variants are getting hard to find of this vehicle don't know why but this one um let's see if there's a number somewhere here yeah now this is one that doesn't have a number uh so anyways cool car green wheels green base um detroit police and usually i will pick up the greenies of the big Time police departments like Detroit, Washington, New York, L.A., and then Cleveland, of course, because I'm from there. I have the regular Crown Vic from Cleveland, uh, but that's about it. Never could find a greenie, and that's a green body Crown Vic greenie. That would be a cool one to have. But just right now, have the NYPD blue, and then your Detroit, and then your Black Bandit police. Uh, so, last but not least is our 2006 Dodge Daytona Greenie. Now, I love this one with just the green five spokes, green base, number 77. I think they made a, less than 100 of these because I think the production of this car was like 5,000 or less. So, really nice piece to have. Love the way that it looks with just the black five spokes and the black base. Er, Green five spokes in the green base. The stock one has green or black. I'm going to get this right in a second. Black five spokes and then your regular cast base. Um, now, I do have that one. We haven't looked at it for a while. It's in one of my modern Mopar videos. So, guys, this is my Green Machine Mopar collection for right now. Uh, some of them may go to new homes, and I may pick up some new ones throughout the next couple of years. I've kind of gotten a little bit uh, pickier with my collection, trying to thin out some stuff and then add new stuff and such. As I said, here we don't have a lot of room, so I kind of have to go through and revise my collection, I guess you could say. 
So guys, this weekend we'll be coming back and we're going to take a look at some slammed trucks. On the contrary to what we did a couple weeks ago with lifted off-road 4x4 trucks, we are doing slammed trucks this weekend. So if you have not subscribed yet, please remember to do so. Please give me a thumbs up. Please tell your friends about my channel. Share the video. And then make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I do uh, publish videos. Usually it's three times a week. Sometimes I do bonus videos too. So turn on those notifications so you get those alerts. I appreciate everybody subscribing, everybody that watches. Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you this weekend.